All right, let's get started. Let's just have a little bit of a call. Okay, so doing something like this, it could be in your kitchen like mine, or it could be at your wall anywhere in the house, by your dining table, entrance, or anything, anything. I chose this in my kitchen because I needed a little bit more space, but I also wanted it to be a little bit more decorative to showcase some of my white and gold stuff because I love gold and white. Everybody pretty much knows that, but in case you didn't know. So starting on this, what I usually want to do is start with all the bigger pieces that I have at the moment, and then I'll just like put in the littles and then at the very end I put like more decorative stuff and uh, like a little bit of a greenery or pine cones or whatever I think it's a good fit for uh, what I've already built. I don't have any rule of like what to start it with. I just kind of like use my vision and just my eye to see what works and what doesn't. So, you know, play along with me and just kind of see what I'm creating and what works and what doesn't. I don't know. I mean, there is no right or wrong, but I think as long as it's visually attractive, visually like looks good to you and it suits your home and decor and whatnot, it's perfect. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm going to start with this jug. I love jugs, so obviously white and gold. So I think I'm going to put this right here. I may move things along the way too. Uh, depending how I play along with the rest of the design. So you may see me moving things here and there as long as it looks good. Alrighty. I also love cave stands. So you're going to see quite a bit of different shapes and sizes of cave stand on this. I'm going to kind of show you something that I do with my cake stands. It's almost going to look like a store display. I think what I want to do, uh, I want to put some glasses on this. Um, these, they're kind of like, I don't know, ombre, ombre, no, amber, <laughs> amber color glasses. I love them. I also love glasses. I mean, what don't I love? Pretty much everything I love. But <laughs> So here's the amber glasses. I got these from HomeSense. So I'm gonna kind of place them on top of this and just kind of see how it looks. And then I will place them after. But I just wanna kind of see what it looks like. I do have four of these cups. So uh, putting them like that. Obviously there's a symmetry there. I just tend to go more asymmetrical than symmetry. So. But this is okay also because when you mix both symmetry and asymmetry, you'll get a better look as a whole and you will see this at the very end. And it will look better, I promise you that. This is actually from West Elm and I love it. I've been wanting it for a long time. It's marble and gold. It's heavy, so I kind of put it here. Doing something a little bit Christmassy. I have this uh, cute little cake stand. It's from the Crafts Decor and Design, uh, or Design and Decor. Uh, they are a local company in Vancouver, where we are. They have an amazing online store that you can also shop at, so check them out. But this is one of my favorite cake stands. It's a tiny one, but I use it all the time. And I want to show you also something that I use often in my designs is these guys. I just love them. I'm using two of the exact same in here because then again, I want to do kind of like an asymmetry. Maybe one down here, one up there to kind of like have the eye travel within the same elements, but used differently. Okay. Look at this bag of pine cones. I love pine cones and I just love them naturally because... That's just how they are. That's just their, you know, realities. We're going to use a whole bunch of these. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to turn this around. We'll just fill them up with pine cones. So what I'll do is I'm going to put this backwards. Let's take one, take two off, or maybe find a small one. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's good. So I'm going to kind of do this. Then turn this around and shake it a little bit. Pine cones in there, and it's cool and it's festive. 
I may use more pine cones to kind of have almost like it's fallen out of the case and whatnot to kind of, you know, give it more perspective. Cool. Uh, I do have teapots and lots of teacups and saucers. So, of course, white and gold with a hint of black. I love it. Perfect for the winter, right? It's up there this year. Which it looks kind of okay for me right now. It's up there. So, this is one of my favorites. It has like a cute little uh, actually, I have to show you the saucer for it too. That. So cute, hey? That there. And that facing, obviously. I like to go a little bit eclectic. So I don't buy many of one thing, I buy one of many things. <laughs> one of each. I think this has a bigger opening, so I think I'll just put that there. And then I'll do that. And then that, and I have a little, you know, teaspoon. So what I'll do is I'll just put it there. I have another, but these are a little dirty. Love this because it's all polka dot, so uh, it's a nice shape. It's, I mean, pattern. So I want to keep this separate and not necessarily stack it. So I'll leave this as is. I'm just gonna put it right there. And again, I'm just kind of playing. So we'll see. We'll see if it stays there. And then for that, I have this guy, which I love so much. Again, it's from The Cost. One of my favorites. It's perfect, again, for Christmas because it's just sparkly and you can just add it to any photo and it just will look good. For this one, uh, what I'll do is just, I'm going to put it there. We'll go do a little bit of mugging. <laughs> uh, this is from Anthropology. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to decide what I want to do there first, well, or second. These are from Tivana. I like to do that because, again, the polka dot, it's a cool um, duo. And then maybe put that in the center. I am going to put this up. Let's see. Just because I need to build a little bit more there to see how they, the flow is. So we're going to go up there. Because there's a gap there, so I'm gonna kind of fill it up with that and then come back down. So let's see if I can reach. Maybe we'll just shift it a little bit there. I have this, it's a bit shorter, so what I think is it will like go a little under. So I'll put it there. Cute. And then guess what I have? I think I showed you earlier. These amazing pineapple. And you know what? These are actually cups. You open them up, you can kind of sit it there to add a little bit more. These are stair sticks. Also, put a stair stick in there and call it a day. I love it. Okay, there. I have this. It's like an antler. And I've already dropped it and it's broken. So kind of bummed about that. I think it's gonna fall again. So I'm not gonna put that there. I do have a cake cutter. I may just kind of slide here just for the handle of it to add like a nice little something there with the white and gold. Oh yeah, I have this. So maybe I can put that somewhere. I think for now it's there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some pine cones. And then maybe just not too perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. I have these, this, I have four of these mini cake stands. Well, too many cake stands. So I think I'm gonna go maybe two and two or three and one. We'll see. I'll keep one there. But what else do we have? Oh, okay. We got these sort of like a blush. So what I'll do is I'm going to create like a triangle, like that, like that. So I can put the other pineapple this way. I'll put it in the front so you can kind of like see that there is like a bit of a depth to it. Yes, I am putting that. And maybe in this case, I'm going to stick to love 
and perhaps because it's my home, I'm gonna put a few of them because I use them all the time. This is actually from weareloveandco.com. Yes, and that's actually my, my online store that is all about love. I created this website about a year ago and the whole mission behind it is to spread love everywhere you go, as Mother Teresa says. So here we are. So I'm going to kind of put all of that right there. Another thing that I have from We Are Love & Co. is our gold foil prints. These are actually hand done, hand gold foil. We did a collaboration from uh, with Icy Noise Print. We're going to do another book <laughs> stand. Yay! Oh, I love it. I'm going to put this there because we're putting a print on top of it. I'm not really interested in showcasing that but just the print then I'm gonna use these ones they're kind of lacy too I'm gonna actually put them backwards like so so that and then I have four of those which I may kind of try to hold this I don't know if it's gonna work or not actually that's just stayed there awesome or hide it a bit but it's still like nice to like present what I'm gonna do to again create a little bit of a height is that I have these plates they're just four of them they cool it's plastic actually it's from home since again there put this on top again so there's a little bit of like a height variation so everything looks good on its own look at these cute little Christmassy spoons eh so cute i love them so this is how they go they actually sit at the edge it's the cutest thing ever so i need a little bit more height because i do have a lot of whiteness to the wall so guess what we have our prints in bigger sizes awesome all you need is love right i'll put it there and again to kind of compete with the height of it i'm gonna put this because you know, it's a nice, like, to, you know, height. Oh, look at this crown. This crown, again, is from the cause. And I love it so much. I love crowns. I like it as is. I don't want to add too many things into it because I feel like this is just so cool and unique on its own. Let's sneak it behind. What we can do, maybe just put this in front of it. This is actually for honey from the cause. That works for me. This is also more like Christmassy acorn stuff. Which we could, what we can do is like putting these acorns like one there maybe and then one there. So I have this, the little tea warmer. Actually, what we can do, put a teapot on it. That looks much better, right? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of pine cones there. That, yeah, it's cool. Okay, so I have this guy that I'm gonna actually just put there. And I don't wanna add too much, so I'll just add that. I mean, you, as just like if you have guests or something, you just wanna add something like for just a day or two. They won't die till like perhaps a few days or so. These are so pretty. So from Anthropology, they're cute. Right, can I use these? Um, I have about eight of them, but I think at this point I can only fit four. Look at that. Oh, totally forgot. My luck. I have one of those boys. So what I'll do is I can use a blank space there. I have more of these, but I think I'll put one there. I have these guys. I actually have two of them. I got them as placemats when I was in California from Z Gallery. And I think it's nice to kind of like break the whiteness here. So I'm actually like doubling them this way. Like that. Then my palm plan I'll put right here. Just to bring a little bit of like that blush down, I have this beautiful heart that my sister got for me. So I always put it here because it's 
pretty aligned with our love concept. So I'll just put it there as is. I have these recipe cards that I haven't used at all just yet. I have this pink plate from Anthology. So I think I'm just gonna kind of place it like that. Just kind of put in a bit of angle for perspective. And then just to kind of show a little bit, you don't need to like have too much going on. You can just have like bits and pieces to kind of have the eye travel from the green from there and then come there and then come here, right? So it's a nice like movement here. One last thing would be if you want, I would add Christmas lighting through it. I would for sure bring a little bit of like a Christmas lighting into this, which I have to go get. I think for now that's good for me and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some stuff. If you have any questions, comment below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much you guys. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.